my name is Elegant Amabio and uh, I am the project director of Afro Music Talent Show. Art, I like to work more with it to the other part and especially award ceremony in my year of the uh, Afro Music Talent. I'd like to thank you so very much for your efforts there with the group came to create your videos and your music and all of that. Appreciate it. Uh, you wish you success and believe me, you're going very far with what we've seen so far. Don't break it. Thank you very much for coming around. All right, so that was a great one from our creative director. And for some of you, you may be finding it a little bit, a little bit difficult to uh, uh, hear him clearly. He was not born and brought up in Nigeria, all right? So <laughs> don't mind people like us. We were born and brought up here. So that's why we are speaking like this, all right? So I always wish that I can speak like him one day in my life, but we are growing, all right? It's a gradual process. <laughs> All right, by the way, uh, let's move to the next item. This is a very um, serious uh, platform for upcoming artists. We are committed to success. We are committed for to bringing out artists, giving them ambassadorial deals, giving them record deals, trying to promote them within our little capacity. And whether you are a contestant and let's say like someone like Lewis who won the competition in this edition, he's going to feel like, ah, I suppose no win now, no, I suppose win maybe the 10th edition so that everything will don't be. See, all of you that have been a part of this show, unless you're going to give up and say, I'm not contesting again in the second edition, then on the and subsequent edition, then maybe you're not going to be a part of how big this project is going to get. But let's assume um, you keep pushing yourself. Whatever we gave as consolation prizes, awards, and winning prizes, star prizes for this maiden edition, the second edition, the subsequent edition is going to be way bigger. Way bigger. Way bigger. And then winners or individuals that emerged. So we are going to have another winner in, uh, in November. First of November, we are bringing up another winner. It's always a one bound show. So we are starting the second edition 1st of October and then 1st of November we are bringing out another winner. And let's say we, we now have like three or four different winners. All of you that have won through Afro Music Talent Show, you're already an ambassador of the company Elegant Empire. And then any investment, any opportunity, any um, career uh, programs that comes in and people are benefiting as a result of Afro Music Talent Show, you people are the alumni of the show. You are already in the first class position to achieve it. So don't be looking at ah, feeling like, okay, I am the maiden edition winner or I'm the second edition winner. Okay, so people that are going to win in the 10th edition or 5th edition or 20th edition are more advantaged than me. No, you are their senior brother. You are going to be, there are some consensions, there are some benefits that are going to be attached to you. Bah whatever we are giving to the rest of the winners. So this is just my own word of encouragement and it's on camera and it's going to be on all platforms so everybody can hear and know that this is not a joke. So this is my own word for you. Whether you won on this edition or you're going to be winning on the subsequent edition or you just will keep contesting until you win, just know that Afro Music Talent Show is not a joke and we have a lot for you upcoming artists. Have I made myself clear? Yeah. All right. So about Elegant Empire. Let's pay attention. Elegant Empire is a media and entertainment company. Was registered in 2012. We started our, um, we started running the company far back in Uyo Aquaibom State, where I hail from. And then uh, we recently came into Lagos. And um, since 2017, we came into Lagos. And from that time till now, I think the first, I think throughout 2017, it was a struggle for us. We were trying to set up, we were trying to even know our way around in Lagos. It was not easy for us to even uh, place our foot here in Lagos. Uh, but after 2017, 2018, things began to, we started knowing where to go to and how to 
uh, stretch ourselves and spread our tentacles. And then 2019, we started doing some stops. Maybe you, some of you that are very inquisitive might have seen some of the videos far back 2017, 18, and 19 on YouTube. Um, it was not an easy journey. And ever since, we have actually kept to the vision. One thing you should know about Elegant Empire is that we are very consistent. We are very, very consistent. And when we say we are going to do a thing, we are going to do it. If we say something, we are going to do it, unless we didn't say it. So that's one thing about the Elegant Empire. It has not, uh, we didn't start like uh, some other people. We didn't have all the money. It was a struggle. Even at, as we speak right now, we are not even close to 10% of where we are supposed to be. I used to tell my staff and my crew, I said, see, listen, Elegant Empire you're seeing now is not 10% close to where you're going to see us in the next, in the nearest future. So if you think we are big, then I don't think so. I think we are very small. In fact, we are the smallest of small compared to the vision. I'm not trying to compare myself with anybody, but I can only say that we are going to be the biggest name in the, in the Nigerian music industry very soon. Whatever is worth doing, is worth doing well. Automatically, I'm not this person that, um, if I want to do a job for you because you paid me a little amount of money, I'm going to do it shabbily. No, I don't do that. Because my reputation is at stake, is on ground. They will ask you, who did this job? You say, ah, it's elegant, ah, elegant. They, see, if, if, for example, I'm a video editor, I'm a graphics artist, if I do a graphics work for you, and then I put in my very best, this other guy that will contact me, for example, I did for you, and then this other guy will now contact me, he will not know you paid me one naira. He will not know you paid me, you paid me, let's say, 10 naira for the graphics. He may come with 100 naira. Or if he contacts me, I'll be like, ah, bro, now 100 naira, they charge you. He didn't know it's 10 naira. So, but if I did a 10 naira graphics for you, he won't even contact me. And I won't even have um, um, the, 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 the mindset to even charge him 100 naira. So, I'm just letting you guys know, very soon we are going to be to the studio, we are going to be doing a lot, we are going to be doing a lot of recording and all of that. Please, put in your best. We may not have millions in our account to say, okay, everybody take one more million. No, no, no. We, we don't have that for now. And I can't lie. But truth be told, we are heading somewhere and putting your best. Because the next person that is going to be hearing your song or is going to be listening to whatever you're going to be doing via Elegant Empire will not know that Elegant Empire did not actually pay you or you were hungry when you were doing the recording. <laughs> Nobody will know. They will just listen to the outcome and they'll be like, what? This guy is fucking talented. Like some of us, some of us sitting down here, I've seen some of your videos, I've seen some of your jobs online on Instagram. I'm fucking impressed. I'm fucking impressed already. And there are some people, I don't want to mention their name. I was eyeing them to become the winner. I was eyeing them, I was eyeing them, I was eyeing them. I said, this person, this person, this person like this. And well, you did not become the winner, but at least you came up at the first, uh, in the, uh, first 10, we selected you. I'm, I'm really impressed. And with the little push that you're pushing yourself already, and the little push that we are going to help you, you're going to fly. So, briefly, that is the introduction of the Elegant Empire. And so, ever since we started in 2012, that is when we actually became serious. But the dream started way back in 2010. So if you want to say how old is Elegant Empire, I would say he's 13 years old now. 13 years old. But if you want to ask me how serious, how old are you from when you started becoming serious, I would say 2010, 2009, 2010. So we are barely three or four years into the game in seriousness. But if you ask me how old are you, when the vision, the conception, the registration, the conception started 2010. I started telling a few people, people were laughing at me. I've, I've dropped it in some of my songs. Oh, some of you don't know I'm an artist too. I'm an artist. <laughs> when we get to the studio, I'll play some of my songs for you guys to listen. Some of you think I'm just, I'm just maybe an actor and also a director, or a boss. I sing. I sing. I'm not going to say I'm the best though. No, no, no. You can judge when you hear my songs. 
So I've told a little of my story in some of in some of my songs, and ever since it was people people were really laughing. They, they thought because I was not born and brought up uh, in a very a wealthy environment and wealthy home. So I, when I told people I want to be an entertainment boss, I used to call some big names. I said I'm going to be bigger than them. They were laughing at me. They were saying I have malaria and all of those things. It was not an easy struggle, but I stayed consistent. I stayed consistent. I cannot imagine how many people have even tried to compel me with handsome salaries so I can drop the vision and come and work for them. And I've turned down a lot of salaries. I've turned down, in fact, I, I, I had accommodation issues some time ago here in Lagos. I, I, I got somebody that told me, I think two, three years ago, three years ago, told me he was going to pay me 250,000 or that he wants me to just come and work for him. I'm going to work from Sunday to Sunday. My off is not actually guaranteed, but he's going to give me one off day that I should come and work as a graphics artist, as a video editor, as a cinematographer in a real estate company. That's where the money is. So they offered me 250,000 per annum, per, sorry, per month. I turned it down. In the, in the midst of accommodation problem, in the midst of serious financial issues. You know why? Because that would have been the end of this dream. That would have been the end of this vision. I learned from successful people that whatever you leave behind, whatever you abandon for some months or weeks will leave you. Before you pick it up, okay, I was staying in a compound before I factory relocated to where we were, we are currently now. And I had a lot of Yahoo boys, G guys, staying in the compound and they are artists. And some of them, when they see me, I'm doing my stuff. I'm not pressing, I'm just, but I don't have any problem with G guys, I'm just cool with everybody. They are like, elegant, see, just drop this music, just hustle, hustle for some time, you will pick up back later. And this person that is telling me drop this music has been doing G for, I think, three, four, five years. He has not dropped one track and he has still, he has cashed out actually. But let's say, after you're cashing out, have you been able to drop your G life and concentrate as an artist? I now check these people. I check their five years to come. I'm not seeing them becoming any artists. I'm not seeing them becoming artists. Because money and hustle has entered their eyes so much that it's, it's already affecting them. They, they don't have the time for anything apart from pressing, talking to clients. Some of us sitting down here may be in that line also, but the difference between you and these people are, is that Maybe you're doing this one part-time and doing this one part-time. Don't ever drop your career for anything. Because whatever you let go, whatever you leave, leaves you for so long. Before you'll be able to pick it up again, it's going to be, it's going to be a struggle. And sometimes, it may not even be possible. Because so for some of you, you say, ah, let me just work, let me just get the job. And let me just do the job for some months and some years. You may be very shocked that you will not be able to pick up this career again. Or before you want to pick it up, you have seen the people that you started with going so far and some of them will become celebrities and you become a little bit discouraged. So what am I saying in essence is, if you're in this career, do everything for the career. If it is hunger, stay. I have been in that show. I have been there. I have been hungry a couple of times and I've never given up. So it's never gonna be a bed of roses. It's gonna be a struggle. This is the, the starting point. Some of you have done music for a while. I cannot say this is your starting point, but this is the starting point to greater and greater and greater um, accomplishments and achievements for all of us. Do we believe it? Do we believe it, guys? All right. Overview of uh, the Afro Music Talent Show. Um, I've already spoken a lot about the Afro Music Talent Show, uh, but let me just run down. Um, first edition, was done in, uh, we started the first edition in August 1st and uh, it ran through the whole of August and we ended in August 31st. And now, on the first day of this month, which is September, we awarded the winner. 
although it was verbally so today we are here to do the physical awarding and then we can see this beautiful certificate here is for the three topmost contestants you can see their names already inscripted you see the winner oh sorry i'm, I'm doing it up all right you see the winner uh lewis uh, and then we see the first runner up which is dk crown his real name is farouk and then we see the second runner up his name is jean bell but his real name is valentine that is why we are gathered here and then to also congratulate every other consolation or every other artist who are going home with consolation prizes and to also tell you what your consolation prizes are and what you stand a chance to get and also it is a forum for us to actually get to see ourselves because this is an online thing like Lefty Things is the first time I'm seeing him and most of us here this is the first time I'm seeing you uh, physically it's actually a very nice thing that we came together although not everybody in the Afro music competition is here but at least we are the top 10 serious contestants although I don't know how serious were the rest of them maybe they were very serious but in terms of productivity I can just pick out these 10 people and say you guys were very serious okay so that being said that is Afro music and then we are actually embarking on the second edition and um, it's going to be it's going to be running like that and then every um, for example the second edition is going to start on 1st of October and it's going to end in on the 31st of October and then 1st of November we are awarding so we are not going to run Afro music in November then we are going to start it 1st of December and 1st of January we are awarding so uh, throughout January we are not running Afro music February we are starting again so the month that we the month that breaks the winner the month that brings the winner there is no Afro music the second the subsequent month Afro music I hope you understand how it works yeah so it's a continuous process of, uh, of unleashing great talents helping upcoming artists pushing everybody as much as we can and uh, growing together with everybody so that's it so in our number four item awarding of the winner and the runner-ups so it's time for us to officially unveil to the public to all and sundry who actually won the afro music talent show season one <laughs> Okay, we could we could have some good music. Go on, go on, go on. I want to see more Let's proceed, guys. Um, right now we are getting started with the awarding of the winner and the runner ups. So, ladies and gentlemen, we all know who won the Afro Music Talent Show already, but some of us may not know him in person. Uh, so I'm going to be announcing him right now to all and sundry to and also bringing him to the public and awarding him the prize all right so ladies and gentlemen let us all drop our drinks and put a hand together as we welcome Louis to the stage okay so with the power vested on me as the project director of the Afro Music Talent Show, I want to say a big congratulations to you. Um, when you became the winner of the Afro Music, you slightly, slightly escaped and became the winner because a crown was ready to kill you. <laughs> and when you became the winner, I just thank God for you because you have been very consistent from the start. And I'm saying this to the camera and to all of you watching us now. The speed and the, and the approach that you use to start the process, the race, determine if you're going to become the winner or you're going to run to the end. This guy is sitting down here. He was the first to submit his pictures. He actually heard about the, the talent show very late. He's one of our artists that has worked with us before. 
but he never had an idea about this this competition. For some of you that you think maybe we are doing Mago Mago in Elegant Empire, if you know me, you will know that if you're my brother, eh, my blood brother, you fuck up. I will tell you, say you don't fuck up. I don't do like this. If you are, if you're good, I will tell you you're very good. If you're bad, I will tell you you're very bad. I don't know how to. I used to tell people, I say, even if it's my father that is under me as my artist. If my father is singing nonsense, I will look at him in the face and say, that you're singing nonsense. That's me to you. I'll tell him. And after everything, I'll apologize and say, I'm sorry that if I offended you, I'm very sorry. But I'll tell you what you are. I don't know how to uh, be corny. If you're good, you're good. If you're bad, you are what? Bad to me. So this guy has worked with us before. He has come to the studio office. He has, he has done some some recordings with us and then he had no idea on his chat on whatsapp i can show to all of you now he sent me he said boss how come you did not tell me about afro music talent show when i came to the office did you say that yes or no he never had an idea when we had when we were planning the show until he saw the publicity online just like all of you saw it and then he applied he was one of the first people that submitted his picture and then of course he was one of the first people that submitted his video did i announce it on on, on online one of the he, he was the first to submit his video it did not take him you submitted the same day i released the beat same day i released the beat lewis submitted his video and i was very shocked i was even afraid i said ah, ah, why this guy rush like this and when I listened to the song, I was like, ah, no, this, this is nice, this is encouraging. Although he was singing very raw kind of song, he was singing about a woman, it was sexual. But I was, I was liking it, he was raw and I, it was cool. I don't have a problem with that. And then, that is not all. He was one of the first people that started the voting. I don't know how he got the money. He sent 50 votes at once. I think it was 50 you sent me at first. I was like, what the fuck? So I was very encouraged. And he went, he ran the race till I think after the third day, he had to pause. And me, I was beginning to feel like, ah, what's Lou is doing? Is really Lou is really serious. Share this guy like this. You want to make people go, okay, I just allowed him. So later he told me, he said, there is a reason why he has paused. I said, eh, hey, so you say you are one of the artists that wants to take us on our ways. So I allowed him to do his thing. And here he is today. He just slightly, I think the points you're using to overcome um, um, AK Crown is not up to 10. Three, three. Imagine. Three votes. How much is three votes? One five. So is one five too much for AK Crown? <laughs> AK Crown, to me, to me, you know Lewis actually did something very funny. Lewis and Jim Bell, this other guy, they sent their last vote, one minute to the closing, you know we extended it till 10, we said we're supposed to, okay, we, we're supposed to be 11.30, we now reduce the time till 10. This guy sent, sent, sent his vote, sent his vote, and then he paused, I thought he's done. He was, I think, at 500 and something or 600 and something. Dying me, he sent his last bar. When I calculated, I saw 700 and something, but I said, Jesus have mercy. And AK Crown was at 700 and something also at that time. So me on my side and my crew, we were like, AK Crown don't win, AK Crown don't win, AK Crown don't win. Gene Bell sent his own. When I saw Gene Bell's own, I saw his own, I was like, what? And I'll say, okay, fine. Let me do my math. I did my math. Gene Bell, AK Crown and this guy were so close and luckily for him, this guy became the winner. As soon as he dropped, I ended the vote. And trust me, if I had extended it one more minute, they would have assigned him. And I don't know if he also would have voted again. Truth of the matter is that these people showed me, showed me, showed me high level of commitment. I did not believe. I, I was telling my staff, I said, if someone told me that in this competition, 
that I'm going to have somebody that will vote 500 votes. I will tell the person to go and sit down. There, there, nobody will get the 500. I'm telling. I'm, I swear. That's what I was telling my staff. I said, if there is somebody that will tell me when I started this competition that I will have a, a contestant that will vote up to 500 votes, I will tell the person to go and sit down. 100 votes is the target. How would the person climb from 100 to 200 to 300 to 500? Because 100 votes was the target for you to become the winner. And this man stopped at 70, is it 73 or 74? 74. So other people were topping. There is one guy, uh, Rola Prime. They were topping. Everybody were topping. Boom, boom, boom. I was like, whoa. There is don't go. But here we are today. Please, let's come back to let him again. Alright, so Lewis. I want to say that we are proud of you from the management and the staff of Elegant Empire and um, we want to say that this certificate of achievement um, is the beginning of great things for you. Anybody who gets this certificate of achievement just know that it has added to your portfolio and I don't know how long you've done music, but when we are doing your interview, we are going to talk about that. But for you at this point of your life to have this, it means Oscar Awards is awaiting you. It means Grammy Awards is awaiting you. Do you understand? To all viewers, to all and sundry, if you know that you are contesting in the Afro Music Talent Show, please put in your very best. Because this guy now is going to, if he's going to embassy to look for to look for visa, and they say, "Who are you? What have you achieved?" and he shows this. This has added to his portfolio. He's in school. Are you in, doing what level now? Final year. He's in school. He's a student. However, he got to vote that much. I just, I just the thing, and he's not from 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 a wealthy home. I tell him now, can your father give me 50k now? <laughs> he go hard. <laughs> well, look at him. So, it's a challenge to all of us. This is not a joke. This is real deal. Aim to become the winner. If you're contesting in the season two, please, I don't know how hot the season two is going to be, but I know it's going to be hotter because just the publicity that we released some days ago. If I tell you how many people are on my DM already and asking me how they want to register, how can they register and all of that, I know it's going to be big, it's going to be hell, it's going to be great. Don't look at how much we are giving. We are giving a higher amount of money compared to what we are giving now. But even if we are giving 10 million, what you stand, the name, the prestige that this is going to give you is worth more than whatever amount we are giving. And then let's assume you are not the odd or you are not the winner. We still have two other offices for the first runner up and the second runner up. So let's assume you are not the winner. Then you definitely will still go home with certificate of achievement being in the top three. So ladies and gentlemen, Lewis, David, Jonah. Congratulations. Just let me have this now. Alright. Alright, beautiful. Yes, hold on. Alright. Thank you very much. Show it to everybody. I want us all to put our hands together as I welcome the first runner up to come and get his certificate of achievement. Uh, 
um, before I present this certificate of achievement to the first runner-up by name AK Crown, I want to say um, something very crucial. AK Crown is one of the never give up artists we had in this competition. <laughs> this guy struggled and he was almost the winner. In fact, at a point, I said AK Crown is the winner of this competition. Because I did not see Lewis coming through and Jim Bell has always been there pushing but at the point Jim Bell was like ah me I don't push I don't tire boss <laughs> so AK Crown was actually pushing and even at the point AK Crown was tired but his never give up attitude brought him this far and Lewis escaped by chance to become the winner <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say congratulations to AK Crown. Um, for you to have been here at this position in this competition, it shows that greater awards await you. This is a stepping stone to Grammy Award, Hades Award, uh, <laughs> the best award. Yes, you are going to take Afro music to the world class standard. Whatever the video and our senior men are doing now, they, are, they have not seen anything yet. These are the people, the new breed of music artists that are coming to take over the industry. All of us sitting down here. So ladies and gentlemen, with no much ado, I want to say congratulations to AK Tom. So, with the power vested upon me as the project director of this uh, event. I hereby present this award of achievement, certificate of achievement to the first runner up of Afro Music Talent Show by name Farouk um, Korede Adekunle, aka AK Crown. Ladies and gentlemen, photograph. <laughs> Present it to all in Just come. Yeah, show it like. Alright, In the same vein, in the same vein, guys, we have the last man standing for the award of achievement. He is also a never give up artist. This guy struggled from the start. In fact, he told me a little story about himself, how people, his family members and friends told him he's going nowhere. In fact, he's not even going to be selected at the first hundred. <laughs> but the guy strived. He strived. He has... I did not even believe because the first three days, Lewis... Um, uh, uh, Jinder was in 10. Is it 10 or thereabouts? I mean, for him to have climbed this high to get the to the third position, which is the second runner up for this competition, is a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to call on Jim Bell to come up for his award. All right. So this is my first time of seeing Jim Bell and a lot of us, almost all of us here, and. Um, I want to say the same thing I said to every other winner and every one of us that is sitting down here. This award that you are getting today might look a little bit um, like we are not giving you so much money. It may look a little casual, but let me tell you something. This is a stepping stone for you to stand in the greatest and the highest stage in the world. So, take this from me, whoever is getting this award today and all of us sitting down here, so shall other people sit down and clap for you when you're getting your best awards in this industry because of music. For you to witness this, this greatness, this beginning of greatness, millions of people all over the world would witness the beginning and your greatness to come. So this is not a joke. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we in one hands, in one accord, 
clap hands as I introduce and give this award to Valentine Ifechuku Madu Maduabuchuku. That name is wrong. <laughs> AKA Jean Bell, congratulations. looks a little shy. I want to tell you something, June Bell. You better remove this shyness and throw away. <laughs> because this is just a, a, a few number of people. I'm not sure we are up to 20 here. We are not even up to 15. And in the nearest future, you should be able to build your confidence to the level that you are going to be standing in a crowd of millions of people. Boys and girls. Celebrities. Crushes. Crushes! <laughs> People that have been crushing on you are saying, ah, look at my crush artist. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Jim Bell, for coming around. Present it to all and sundry. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what's your name? Tell the viewers, tell all and sundry. Yeah. yeah, my real name, my, my, my real name is Blessing David Jonah, but my stage name is Lewis. So what's your genre of music? Afro music. Afro music. So do you rap or you're just a singer? No, I don't rap, I'm just a singer, but I'm just trying to rap. Yeah. Okay, you trap a little. Yeah, yeah. But basically we know you to be a singer, right? Yeah, sure. Singer of Afro music. Alright, that's great. That's great. Alright, so how long have you uh, been in music? Well, um, I started singing when I was 14 years old. Oh, so how old are you right now? I'm 19. Oh, wow, you're really young. I thought you were like 25, 26. No. Oh, so you're, you're very young. Yeah, that's nice. A boy at 19 getting an award of achievement. Wow. Please, can we clap for me? <laughs> All right, go ahead. So you started singing by 14? Yeah, I started singing by 14. I mean, what makes me start singing by 14? I, mean, I wasn't really in a lot of music, so in a certain time like that, I, I saw my friend who was singing, and he went to a studio recording. When I, like, when I heard him singing, I was like, guy, how do you do this? Like, why is the voice sounding like this? I was like, ah, I went to the studio, I record. So I was like, guy, can you teach me how to sing? I want to learn how to sing. So from there, Started, we formed a group called um, MRA Music Running Nation then. So we started singing the group, but all of them, they left me actually, but I'm the only one standing up now. Good, yeah. good one. That's a great one. Please have a clap. Awesome. All right, guys. So, how did you meet Elegant Empire? And what impression did you have about us? At your first time of making an event empire, a lot of people out there, even till today, still feels we are scammers. So, how did you meet us, and what was your first impression when you met us? Yeah, basically, that um, when I met an event empire, I, I, I was like on social media on Facebook, I saw a promo, record, did a video free. Oh, yeah, things like that. So I was like, ah, this one again, a scam, all this stuff like that. Because I've been through a lot. Like, I sent money to producers back then in the record label. Then when I found out it was a scam, I was like, ah. But, like, I, I wasn't even expecting that. So when I saw Elegant, Elegant just said, he didn't ask me to send money to him, actually. I just said, come to the studio. Then when you come to the studio, to the office, yeah, we see, we talk, we, you know, make arrangement on your recording on any, whatever thing, whatever promo they are going on. So when I came, I was like, when I saw, when I came to Instagram Empire, actually the office, I saw the course, I was like, I was amazed, I was like, I was, I was impressed. I was, then he said, this will be, you get a trap for just some amount of money, free video, photo shoot, so many things, which if probably I want to get it outside, I will pay so much money, like maybe half a 
you are on plus. But I get it in a low amount of money, which is like not. I was not mentioning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was it. So I'm, right. then I feel so so glad that I'm here today with the elegant empire on the own Italian show as the winner. I feel so so good about it because I said to you guys out there. Okay. If you see opportunity like this, don't take it for granted. I mean, you just try your best. Just try your best. It's not by my power, by my will that I want it to work. By the grace of God, by the grace of God, yeah, so that you feel that way. By the grace of God. All right. All right. All right. Now, how do you see Elegant Empire? Now that you have met us, you have seen that it's not a scam, and then. You told us you met us via Facebook and blah blah blah. And your first impression was that ah, this one now another scam. But when we spoke with you, you got to discover that this one ah, even though they are scammers, they are not sounding like scammers. So let me go and see. So now you now came and you saw that we are not scammers. How do you see us? And then what can you tell the viewers about us? Do you understand the question? It's the same question I'm going to ask everybody. So listen, how do you see us now? And what can you tell the viewers that are watching you now about Elegant Empire? Okay, um, what I can tell the viewers about Elegant Empire now is that Elegant Empire is real. Like, it's fucking real. So just anything they say, they do it. They are not fake, they are not scammers. And I see Elegant Empire taking over the world like the international. <laughs> Not the first time he's saying this, he has, he has been singing this at song. So he has been close to me ever since we started this competition, and we've been talking, and he has been saying this thing. So, him saying it now to all and sundry to the live camera, thank you very much for having that kind of vision for the empire. All right, so where do you see yourself now in the next five years, and what are your expectations from us? So, now what's your vision in the next five years? And what do you expect from us? Um, see myself from now to five years. Well, uh, let me just say, I see myself as a legend. Wow! <laughs> so, what do you expect from us? What I expect from the company, the Indian Empire company right now, is that they should just like you know, help me, support me in every anyhow they can to support me to see me through my music career to become a legend by the Thank you very much. That's great. So, so what's your word of encouragement to all the up and coming artists watching us right now? What's your word of encouragement as the winner of the Afro Music Competition Season 1? What's your encouragement to all in something? My encouragement I have now to say to all the upcoming artists that when you, maybe for example now, you are in a competition and maybe someone is ahead of you, don't feel depressed, don't feel, ah, this one, this one already win. Just keep trying, keep pushing. You don't know where the next push will take, where the push will take you to. So you just got to push yourself, believe in yourself, believe on what you are doing, and believe me, you are going to be the winner. Yeah. All right, so say something to your fans. Say something to your fans watching you right now. And um, all the viewers, how can they contact you? Um, all right, um, I want to say to my fans, those that are already supporting me, even if I'm not yet out there to the world. I want to say a big thank you, a big shout out to the world, to everyone that is supporting me. And to say to my fans that, like, if, maybe for example, they want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, my Instagram and the official, Louis123, my Facebook, Louis Jonah, my TikTok, Louis123, exactly. Then, my, my what is it? That's all. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that was Louis. The winner of the Afro Music Talent Show Season 1. Okay, crowd. Three votes denied you the chance to become the winner. 
of the Afro music talent. How did you feel? I don't feel bad because uh, to me, I feel the stuff is put on to do this. So that people doesn't mean anything. You didn't feel so, I don't feel bad about it because it's not a population of people to sell food. So, <laughs> I feel great to be here like being the first one out because this is the first time in the street. Alright, be on all right, viewers, we have AK Crown right here, and he is the first runner up of the Me Afro Music Talent. AK Crown, tell us your name. Uh, my name is Akipule Farouk Kuribi, aka AK Crown, aka Crown Boy, aka King of the Black. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you you are very very active AK Crown. How do you come by the name? What what stuck with the crown and the name? Actually, AK Crown stands for Akuridi. I purposely did not put that A in front of Akuridi. So the crown is the son of Akuridi. So Akuridi means crown. That's wonderful. Wow. Please, the round of applause. <laughs> So how long do you tell us how, how what kind of what genre of music do you do? Now, let me say I'm into Afro pop and anything Afro. You kind of rap, basically. I'm a rap. So you're a rapper. You're a singer oh. and you're a rapper. You write the music. You sing. It's great. So how long have you been doing music? Ah. Wow. It's been a very long time. Let me see. 2011. Wow. 2011. That's quite long. So 12 years now. 12 years complete. Wait, wait, wait. 2011. That's 12 years. Wow. Whoa. That's a very long time. Amazing. So what? What? What made you? What made you um, intend to contest in the Afro music talent? What do you mm. see? In my own perspective, I see it as a, a privilege just to showcase my talent. Because going to several auditions, I made a lot of money. At the end of the day, it turned out to be what I did not expect. But I just felt I should just try this even with my work. So, how did you get to meet the uh, how did you get to hear about the afternoon uh, talent? I had to meet uh, Elegant Empire on Instagram. So I saw your post. And I was like, I don't really need to do this. Because I have told myself I don't want to participate in any of the show. Let me keep pushing my music. Yeah. The top changes my nuts. I got used to try to do this. And look at it. <laughs> lots of people would think uh, when they see lots of things online, you know, we are living in a very terrible world. They believe that um, Elegant probably could be one of the shams out there. So, do you also feel it's a scam or something? <sighs> Although, I don't feel like it. But before you get to where you're going to now, there is a lot of way, a lot of ways you go to a lot of places you will need to get to before you hit that place you went. At the at the point in time <laughs> when the voting uh, process started, I was like, who is going to vote for me? Because <laughs> I don't have the determination of doing this this thing. But I just woke up with the and my dad just asked me. If he paid so, so, so amount of money, how many votes will I be able to get? Yeah. You see, I was like, my dad would call me and ask me this kind of a question. Ah. Okay. I replied. So he actually sent me the money. And he asked me, are you okay with the votes? I said, no. Because this is just a starting point. Before I know it, I 
just started bombarding me with screenshots of payments. AK actually is telling us that his parents are in support of his music brand. He's a like a clap for AK. Whoa, so me and dad actually, um, dad, dad pushed you through this journey. Yes, he actually did that. But great dad, wow. on the final day of the competition, it wasn't like I was still in trouble. London for the shoot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that what made you lose yeah. to Lewis? So I went to another dad. That contributed actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I don't want to lose this competition. Mm. It was like, what do you want? I said, I need a social amount of money. Mm. I want to use it for food. And he asked me, Are you sure what I've seen? I said, Yes. So I actually called um, uh, Mr. Ellie Gandabi to speak with him. So he said, No problem. And like he actually did it was right. He did it. That's good. That was nice. Oh. All right, um, AK Crown. How do you see elegance? Now you've um, you've been a part of a contest and then you've gone this far. What can you tell the viewers about any elegant and power? Oh, uh, what I'm telling the viewers is that no matter what you're doing today. Just know tomorrow you're going to some, so many places. Right. Actually, I never thought for the staff because I have to put in my best and everything. So, early Gun Empire is not a staff. They are live and they're ready to get to the best term. So, they are real. Thank you very much, um, AK Crown. Tell us, you've, you've gone this far and you've been doing music for over 11 years now. So in the next five years, would you tell us what you see yourself? Um, in the next five years, <laughs> let me see, I'll be everywhere like MC. Mm. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere like MTN. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, so, um, so you'll be everywhere in the next five years. So, so what do you expect from Elegant Empire to make you become or to make you everywhere like MT? What do you expect? What are your expectations? Mm -hmm. Short and brief, I want Elegant Empire to invest in me. Mm -hmm. That's it. To take them to the next level. Because mm -hmm. I want to see them competing with other different students. Great. All right, please stop. Right. There are there are many up and coming actors out there who will get on that. I want to hear from you. You achieved this feat right now. So, what would you like to tell them? Oh, actually, I have a lot of guys that I had to see, which I actually tell them that was not my issue. Should be over and doing and everything. They should wear that spirit of hypermarxism because in this life we have, I don't think there is any, uh, let me put it in, I don't think there is any way for you to settle for legs or you want to step back until being your moves. So what I would like to tell viewers, yeah, keep pushing, no matter how the way you be, just have it at the back of your mind that one day, Alrighty, AK. AK, you've got a crown on you already. And there are many fans out there who would like to follow you on your social media handle. I don't know if you can let them know social media handle so they can follow you. Okay, for those of you that want to follow me on Instagram, you can search for AK Crown on the score. On Facebook, AK Crown, and on Twitter, AK underscore Crown Six. That's all. Thank you very much, AK Crown. Thank you for coming around. Thank you, Crown. That was AK Crown, and three votes denied AK Crown becoming the next, the very first winner of this edition of Afro Music Talent.
Thank you very much. It's a Perfect. Just, uh, yeah. You feel like crying? Oh God, I'm feeling so emotional right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so tell us, why do you feel like crying? Uh, I would say that the condition I left would be that I would get to the stage and I got I doubted myself. In fact, when my friends were guaranteeing me my boundaries, I was like, maybe I should just see. Handsome. Thank God you didn't hands up. But all the way, a talented and born with definitely from the beginning, even before I was born, my mother was very good. But she had to be shut down. She had to be strong. Wow. I never did it. I never did it. I never did it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, how do you feel now? How do you feel now that uh, you are in the first three and you've gotten a certificate of achievement today? Right now, saying you be a winner and a uh, giver is very amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about yourself. <laughs> yes, yeah. Talk about yourself. In this uh, competition, yes, it's true that everyone, everyone wants to uh, even be myself, I will still be the winner. But uh, there's something that I've been it's not just about it. That elegant thing, and I was like, ah, that's come, come on. <laughs> so, although one of my friends, I really, I really appreciate him, but I was very happy to be calling him smart kid. But wow, that's smart thing. I, he's like a brother to me. He's like, guy, go ahead, I support you. Although he does not have uh, enough team, he's like, go ahead, I'm backing you up. So, only him backing me up, because I didn't need any other person. Since you are here, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Alright, Jimbo, tell the viewers, tell us all your name. My name is Madame Valentine. From Madame Dustin. My new child. Welcome. So, what prompted you for you to get that name, Jimbo? I, you see, I was this kind of guy that I always, like, during my school time, I used to have different kind of freaky, sleepy, crazy, and modern things. But then um, this gym there was the name that I, I, I searched it and I saw it when I was looking for the name to get to myself. So I saw the gym there, I was like, gym there, gym there, gym there. I was like, I wanted my name to really ring the bell and everybody's speaking forward, gym there, gym there. Like Jingle oh, Bell. Yeah. So <laughs> I wanted to pass the name of the bell. Yeah, Jim Bell rings the bell. <laughs> so I wanted to sleep the bell, but my spirit kept on telling me to take this, take this. So I'm like, I'm going to go. So when I see, I, when I spoke with my friends, man, I was like, guy, this thing is very, very thick. I was like, guy, as far as you're always with me, anything I tell you, I'm going to go. <laughs> but uh, if not for him, I would have been so. Many of my friends, even people that I even believe that they can get me. Even the last day, the last day of competition was saying, the guy that promised me that he was going to go to you. When I got to the show, I was like, ah, this was kind of how we do something wrong. I was like, guy, your job is to just work on I didn't say anything, I was like, thank you very much. I really appreciate your work. Because uh, I know mean, that one day, it's only take time, one day you will still see me 
everywhere. Everywhere, yes. Uh, because uh, the only thing I promised myself is that uh, I don't need to be a king. Or, so I just want to show them that I will be the killer king. Mm. I don't need to wait for five years. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Two, three years already you okay for me to give them the kids that they All right, Jim Bell. So, briefly, tell us, how did you get to meet Elegant Empire? In that question. And what was your first impression about us? Yes, uh, you just asked me how many Elegant Empire. Yeah, uh, that was very hard because I can't even remember how I feel the Elegant Empire. Oh, because I don't know if it was a Instagram, but the only thing I knew was that I already had a company. Alright? So when I met Elegant Empire, I saw the company of the that was coming up. First of all, the last uh, the last uh, revenue by then, they were they told me that uh, I was going to pay social money for the meeting of me and the So I, I don't think I don't know if you remember us by Yes, yes, I do. Wanna, we were going to give me the contact of the school. When we met them, I was like, ah, thank God, I was very happy that we were going to And when they started saying, we pay money for this one, pay money for this one, I was like, thank you. This one, at least, people are saying, we pay money for this one. I hope this will be established. I don't know. You know. That, ah, I didn't even know that they are scamming, that they were going to the extent that they were washing him, they were washing him. Was washing him. Ah, I was. Finally, when we even when we were waiting for the final moment, that's when they left. They stopped kicking our calls, they stopped being there. So when I met Elegant Empire, as the friend that I am, I called him, I told him that these people scammers are going to be in that they will not be in the future. This is how we will be in the future. And I don't know if you're interested in what they are on them. And then, wow, he said it. That was how I, but I don't really can explain how I made them get it. But that's how I made it. All right, that's fine. So basically, right now, how do you see Elegant Empire? You see, before that, before you asked me that question, uh, when I was sitting there, I was thinking, mm -hmm. that question will come. How, well, how did I see Elegant, Elegant Empire? Empire? Seeing the CEO really makes me understand that yes, that Elegant Empire has been because. Uh, I wanted to see who was in, in charge of it, yes, because I did not just want to hear uh, they are going to help us, they are going to invest on us. Uh, I wanted to see. So please, who is the CEO of Elegant? Ah, uh, please, uh, uh, Black Boy. Uh, yes, it's like it's like you're the CEO of Elegant. Oh, 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 uh, why? Because me, I don't know. I want to see who is the CEO. Because uh, maybe class. I don't need to. Uh, <laughs> the oh, first class! <laughs> wow. Oh, but I would say that the CEO promised me that when I come to buy me a drink. So I think I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the CEO, wherever you are, I believe the CEO forgot that he promised somebody a drink. So the CEO must buy Jim Bell a drink today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you very much, Jim Bell. So you so seeing the CEO of Elegant Empire, and then what can you tell the viewers about us? What I can tell the viewers that really into music. Um, just like just like I told my friend once I told him that the talent is a gift. Yes, and uh, I believe that every woman being is born with talent. It's just that it takes time to discover the kind of talent that you have. When people are telling me that uh, it's not important. Now you know how to handle a business is also important mm -hmm. because not everybody that is successful. That's yes. why people will say you can handle this one. Right? Talent comes in different forms. So me myself, I am not. Uh, I don't learn music. I don't want to be I have music myself. Beautiful. <laughs> for the records, we have music here. So if you are looking for music, please let's meet music. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Jin Bell, I'm super happy for you. All right, so where do you see yourself in the next five years from now? And what's your expectations from us as a company? The next five years, because you I see our music, I think myself, maybe just a child, I will have music for a lot of 
Just like this Apple music and uh, this is our Apple music, just like when you're watching, you're watching Christian Ronaldo and Messi and trying to figure out the way they're That is the way I want this Apple music to be. I want Apple music to dominate the outside world. Okay? Because I want it to be the African stars of blue to go far. Yes, and uh, in the next five years, just like I said, I am not waiting for five years to come. Five years is too far. I'm not waiting for five years to come. I am expecting myself, I'm trying, I'm mean, figuring out to see myself that in the next two to three years that uh, at least my name will be, just like I said, my name will keep on ringing bells. I want to push music outside. Because I want, I don't want video to be going outside to look for white people. I want them to come here. Looking for us. Yeah. 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 Alright, beautiful. So, what's your word of encouragement to all up and coming artists watching you right now all over the world? Mm. My message and uh, my encouragement to every other and my message not only to upcoming artists, my message is also, is also to upcoming business men, uh, actors, and but every young talented star that I have. Because I have about two, three in my family. Yeah, just like my junior sister, I just discovered that she really loves me. So I'm also sending a message to her that she should never mm -hmm. yeah, just give me up with uh, the young people. And just like I said in the competition, that, uh, you see, when I go to see you, that uh, you should congratulate me. He was like, Why are you telling me to congratulate? I said, uh, You see, um, the, uh, a competition like this, you don't need to fight for that to be possible. I've seen the whole world and uh, I've seen the way I've seen the race that I'm running, I've seen the way the race that I'm angry around and I was like, this is who is going to be. So there's no need of uh, How come you did not see AK Crown? Uh, I would say that um, the AK Crown is very good at that game because from the beginning, in fact, he really impressed me, yes, because uh, he was the first person to run at that conference. Then I was like, wow, from 10 to 100. This guy is, uh, if it's his first appearance, I would say this guy is. Is uh, it's like for Walker. You know, for Walker, you know, you don't go for uh, You get out of the machine. So before you know it, uh, the wheels two on the uh, racing. Uh, uh, I was like, oh my god. So me myself, I was not even see myself as the part of people of racing because uh, I didn't even put my mind in the <laughs> I didn't even. So suddenly, uh, I was even seeing myself in the game because even at the end of the game, you meet the chat and I was like, guy, you're a machine, dude. <laughs> Well, this way, I want to say, but I really appreciate both of them because, uh, yeah, the way their spirit and everything made me push for them. Yes, and I'm very happy to be inside. I'm also happy to be inside. Thank you, brother. So, my message to upcoming and upcoming and outside is that uh, you should never be a problem. Your talent is a gift. It's a very precious gift. Yes, and uh, when you discover that, you know, you need to just be a good person. You can't buy it. You can't even drink. Yes. So that's my message to them that you should never be done. You should keep fighting. Thank you very much. So lastly, before you leave, what's how can we meet you? What's uh what's your what's your word? Say something to your fans all over the world and tell us how we can contact you. Uh for all the people that want to be your new fans, your new supporters, and for all your fans out there, tell us how we can contact you and say something to them. Hmm, right now, uh now that uh, I just said, I just started uh, working in the Africa I would say I can not really, I'm not actually seeing myself down as I figure out the way I want to keep my line, but I would say right on my Facebook, then you can chat me with uh, my Facebook, then you can with Marshall, Marshall, that you can Marshall as a king of every arena, yes, and also in TikTok. Great and uh, the next time I'm going to bring Russia. Great. I really appreciate it. Alright, thank you very much. Thank you for coming along. Thank you. Thank you very much. I find it a 
how to get the pronunciation of your name. Would you like me to tell me? Lefty Tins. Lefty T I N Z. T I N Z. Wait, you guys call it. Uh, yeah, so Lefty Tins. Yeah, not say. Lefty Tins. Lefty Tins. Yeah. All right, all right. So, so how did you get the inspiration for the name? Does it result from the fact that you are a left-handed person? Actually, actually, I'm a left-handed person, and my mom. So she's a this left stuff. Whoa! And um, and right on that, I'm a footballer. And this is basically when I have to drop being a player with the left one. The left leg. And you guys come across this leg. That shit. <laughs> you know, it's, it's actually a very beautiful thing when we have people who are very proud of their nature and um, it's, it's, it's something we should encourage. When people even make a name out of their nature, he's a left-handed person in our society because, you know, when we give people something with left hand, someone will tell you it's disrespect or it's not good. So I, I think I'm an advocate of um, natural uh, people and people being encouraged and appreciated based on who they are. So I like people like this who are very proud of how they came about, you know, their nature. It's a good thing. Thank you very much for being proud of that name. All right, Lefty. Yes, sir. You came, he, you came for. Yeah, yeah, I came for. I like it. It's, it's a competition though. I enjoy this thing. <laughs> It's a big thing for me because it doesn't be easy me coming that far. You know, a lot of challenges, a lot of issues. Saying this thing, I really sure and I was like, God, anything you're doing, like, just have to go first. Let's go. Go first. Yeah, uh, after all, then the host competition for outside countries. There are many countries. When I want best to go down. <laughs> the other one should go with you. Mm. They'll keep trying, they'll go with you. Alright, so, yeah, so Lefty, tell us your real name. Yeah, my name is Eddie Mimana from Aquarius. Mm. Yeah. Right, yeah. see. So you, you decided to go a bit far from your real name to take up a um, Lefty as your uh, stage name. That's a very beautiful thing. So, what genre of music do you do? Yeah, I do Afro Soul, Afro Pop. Yeah, like, I can speak to your soul. Like, mm. If I sing now, you need to, like, go that far. Reasoning that far. Like, you need so to like calm. You need to need to calm. Mm. I, if, if I come to the dance aspect of it, I know many people will do but I do prefer talking to your soul. So, you are dancing too? To, yeah. You dance, you put the singer and the dance. I don't dance, but I move you to dance. Oh! Yeah, I can move it. I put smile on your face. Yeah. Yeah. Let's clap him, that's it. Very good. Do you, um, do you also rap? No, I don't do the rap. I don't do rap. Really just sit down. That voice, no. I, I try to read him how to speak to your man. Mm. I don't know. Very good. So tell us, um, how long have you been in the music industry? How long have you been doing music? Uh, that was um, 2016, seven years now. Seven years you've been doing music. How, so you contested in the Afro music talent. How did you get to hear about it? Yeah, um, I love, um, I love this, um, Social media and stuff. I was just scrolling down from one page to one and I came my first like a full talent point. Looking for artists or whatever. So this thing again. I go do a multi day. I understand no one. No one. I go do this. No, I just anyone who has this. Apart from my full talent, I've I've come across like two months. So you got and I'm into that. But then I scam, I don't even care. That's right. Yeah, I just need to That means you're very passionate about what you're doing and you really want to get to the peak yeah, of your sure, career. Sure, sure, sure. He's clapping, that's a very inspiring voice. You came in and um, you contested and you 
related with the CEO of the um, Netherlands Empire, who have also seen other crew members of Empire. What's your, what's your take? How do you see Netherlands uh, Empire? Yeah, um, I have this experience of the retail entertainment industry. Back then in 2016, I was into one, but I don't want to mention any here because of the really fucked up. Right, but it's important. I belong to us. But uh, looking at this uh, label of the team, I believe in uh, if you pick an artist, make sure you're doing that thing, you pick him up. You're not just planting mm. here in the past. But uh, while I was there then, I believe it, I was so, should I say, I was too mature to this level. Then. So I was, I was just seeing myself in clothes, in clothes. First guy, three bedroom with other guys, the ones that are smoking, like living life. But that thing, I started, I started noticing like that music. I wasn't really doing it any longer. I don't know if you guys get my point. Like that thing that was really powerful. I was just seeing, just flunked, going to shoot, making money for the little, mm -hmm. for the outcome to my outside of it. Like that video, the funniest music, that I. Mm -hmm. Shoes, doing this one. I wasn't really saying Not until when I noticed my senior colleague then had to call me. Guy, I'm leaving this place, man. I don't do it three years, nothing. Mm. Then I started like, guy, this house, my mom is good job. Daddy is good job. We did a one job. Now, but I had to back out. Mm. Missing um, elegance. I believe this is a new era of music and uh, I know they have plans for us like they cannot just come up with something good like this and start playing with it along the line. Absolutely. Yeah, so Absolutely. I, I believe you guys are going to give us what it really takes to become that legend that we are aiming for. Alright. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, what where in the next five years, with respect to you, you are seeing yourself somewhere. I know it's a very difficult question for most artists. Yeah. So, in the next five years, where do you see yourself? In the next five years, my colleague here, yeah, let me say that he, 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 he should be a legend. Yeah, I, I, to me, in the next five years, I see myself shutting down. Like, me just showing up and people are smiling. I love people smiling, just seeing. If you come to my uh, pages, you will notice people do, and once I climb on stage, people just start jumping and laughing and hey, this guy. I just like it. I don't go for the money. I don't go for but I just, I just believe in people smiling when you see me like, ah, this, let's see the form, let's do this. <laughs> so I believe in the next five years, I should see crowd jumping, seeing me doing that thing. All right, let's take it. Yeah. You've got expectations, uh, even before you applied for the um, Afro Music Talent, you had expectations from uh, uh, Elegant and Park. So after you were you succeeded in becoming the top uh, and in clinching the top position, what expectations do you still have? Um, I, I, to me, is a stepping stone. Is a stepping stone. My career for me to come this far, it hasn't been easy. So for me, since I'm here already, it means it's a stepping stone for me. I don't need to give up. I don't need to say like um, I have winners. Like no, I I I will still keep pushing till I get it. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, I would like to know there are many people watching the world there. I would love to. Come coming artists um, who would also want to make a name like you who want to be on this platform to someday or maybe grow higher to what you are in Korea and the Africa. To the upcoming artists, uh, those grinding to get there. Really, not the thing, so you know it's trying for one angle, trying for a radio station, you know the thing, but you just need to keep pushing. When this thing will start paying for us all, it will look like uh, some good thing I've blood money. Like you do this one, it's now the 
but there was this sacrifice you laid down, right? We call it um, this investment. We we know this show. That, that is it. It's like an investment. You know when you take a ticket to a, a platform like this, I beg the sample my music. And you're not seeing any the, like people that give that show be like, how much? We give you fifty, how much that you're not seeing it. So it's like that investment that you're not sure. But guy, forget it. It's one of the biggest and best investments ever. So far say you know it then. So we have viewers out there and most of the viewers out there are your fans and they really want to talk with them and many of them have probably been eager to see you yeah. and maybe to chat with you to relate with you so what how do they contact you? Yeah um, I've been I've been looking for how to just tell my fans my people out there like Thank you very much. It has not been easy for you digging that hand into your pocket, like bringing out a 500 naira to put for this guy that you're never sure. Of. It's not easy. Sure, that's yeah, right. yeah. It's not easy. You looking at your colleague and you be like, okay. But shout out to Mr. Chine Du. You're watching me all the way from the States. He's the manager in the big boss. Shout out to my co colleague. Pizza, that guy, he tried even to the time in it. He was like, Lefty, Alpha, you notice any result? Other man will do anything. I said, I never see any result. They say, Not tonight. He posted another thank you, like, put this thank you first again. I was not like, Okay. We were still eager like, to do more. But God knows the Shout out to you. Shout out to you. I'm from Open States. I work there. Shout out to everybody. I'm so happy. I like. I really appreciate. And I wish you all the best. As you all wish me the best. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Excited to have you today. Um, tell us your name. Let's get started. Right. Originally, um, Gabriel, you know, see, I'm from the east, and by state name, I'm Black Boy Team. Wow, Black Boy Team. So, um, Black Boy Teams, how long have you done music and what's your genre of music? Um, on my own part, I would say music is an inspiration because back then, when I was tender, I wasn't interested in music actually. But the more I try to run away from it, the more it becomes like the inspiration, the lyrics comes in my head. Sometimes I'll be playing, and all of a sudden, I'll be singing a new song. I don't know where it came from. I'll just be singing, and I'll just be singing. I say, ah. Oh my, I've not heard this song before for many years. Why am I singing it? So I just follow up and look for some other lyrics to back it up. And I'm doing the Afro music stuff too. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so um, like how long now have you been doing music? Do, do you have do you have like a specific number of years? You, I, I'm not talking about. Um, Maybe when you were a kid, you, you used to love music. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you started becoming serious with music. How long? It's not been long. Actually, it's when I came to Lagos that I started. I, I took music got serious. That was 2020. Yes. 2020. So barely three years. Seriously into music. Yes. All right. So basically, what's your genre? Genre of music. I'm doing the Afro music. Afro music is beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, so um, how did you uh, meet us and what was your first impression about us? How did you meet the Elegant Empire? What was your first impression when you saw us? Actually, I was scrolling on Facebook when I got to see the post. I post about Afro music. Actually, I never thought it was a scam. I just said I should try it. I must do it. 
Uh, anyhow, it goes. Any if any, if you ask for many how it goes, I'll go stick in the cell. Wow, that decides to give you a try. Wow. So, what, what prompted you not to feel like we are one of those scammers online? Because I've been used to scamming. I've been scamming uh, different ways, so it's not anything to me. So, so is it that right. you, you know the language of scammers? Yeah. So, our. our <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how, was, was, how was our language? Um, I saw it genuine and I tried to follow up. And on my own part, I, told, I was just saying, let me just follow them up. So, when I see that things are getting somehow, then I'll just quit because it went all straight and everything worked out. Wow. Wow. That's great. That's great, black boy. Okay. So, how do you see Elegant Empire now? And what can you tell the viewers out there about us? Elegant Empire, um, I must say a big thank you to the management of Elegant Empire. I see them as um, um, a, 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 an empire that, that, that come out to, to raise upcoming artists and to take them to the world. I'm just seeing this as a passport of it and I'm not a prophet but I can see the bigger picture in the future of where you saw. Yes, I will. Alright, beautiful. Um where do you see yourself in five years from now, black boy things? And what is your expectation from us? My expectation from now I'm hoping to I'm hoping to go wow. yes. viral, like everywhere. Wow. Yes, and I, and I expect Elegant Empire to put in their best in me. And I promise to do my best too. All right. Black Boy Things, we are going to do our best for you. And you are definitely going to come out and you're going to be everywhere. Yeah. All right. So, what is your word of encouragement to all upcoming artists there? Up and coming artists viewing us, watching us right now. What is your word of encouragement to them? Um, I urge every upcoming artist to never say never in everything they do. In every nonsense, there is a sense. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. in every nonsense, there is what? A nonsense. sense. In every nonsense, there is what? A sense. sense. Beautiful. I've learned that today. Although I've heard that word over time, but I've learned it again today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, since day side. I've seen it already. <laughs> All right, so say something up to your fans and tell us how to contact you, Black Boy Saints. Um, I would say a big thank you to my fans out there because I, have, I don't have a big fan base now, but I still have people that believe in me. Mm. Yes, I'll say a big thank you to them, my friends and family. I say thank you and I urge you to keep believing in me and I promise not to fail you. And on social media, you can contact me on IG at BlackBoyTings1. On IG. And on Facebook, I'm Gabriela Black. Right. Then on TikTok, I'm BlackBoyTings. All right. Black Boy Things, thank you very much for coming around today and I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Bonaboy. And um, Bonnie Boy is actually very great And um, we're talking about music, right? Scripture, so tell us about the name. It's very striking. When we talk about scripture, we are looking at so many things. When we talk about scripts, first of all, it sounds like a guy who writes his own music and uh, does his own music, writes and sings his own music. So do you write your music? Yes, I write all my music. I start my music career. 
So that's great. Yeah. Right. So what 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 informed the decision to take up the name Scripto? Does it have uh, any special meaning? Uh, actually, no. Scripto is an abbreviation of my politics. Uh, the S is S R O and the S C R O I P stand for scripted. Mm. Then uh, the stand for potential, but the Y P stand for talented. Y P stand for stand for assist. That's quite a rich name. So tell us what genre of music do you do? Actually, um, I'm into Af. And wow. And I played, I played the guitar also. You played Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> More like a cheer. Alright, so how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for like 10 years now. 10 years? So, at first, my parents, my parents didn't actually support it. So, it was a very tough. I know that I went one day in my scene before. It was a very tough uh, mission because actually my parents they are a pastor in the church. So I'm actually in circular music. And uh, you know, normally as parents, they will respect your child like and going to gospel music, sing or sing gospel music. So but I was like not into the gospel. So but actually I think my I think all right, so I, you know, before we get into asking you some other things, I'd like to, I'd like to find out your your real name. Uh, my name is uh, Samuel Danjoji. Mm. So I'm from the states. So you, you went far from your, you know, from your real name to achieving scriptures your stage name. Yeah, yes, sir. It's, uh, but actually, my name is Sam Danjoji. That's so some daily scripture. How is it related? Uh someone then Danjuma to join together with the body. Alright, script So let's get to know how you got to meet um Elegant Empire. How did you hear about the Afro, Afro music talent? Oh, actually I met um, uh, Elegant Empire on my Instagram page who actually all my life is on social media. You want to look for me. See everything I've done from the start of my years in Paris. Yeah. So I saw ads, I saw Elegant Empire, uh, Afro music. So I was like, please let me try it. But actually, I've never gone to a competition before. This is my first time. So I was like, let me give myself a try. Because it's all this time I've been building myself, trying to figure out a new gen for myself. So I just click on the end. Directed me uh, to uh, the post and to the Did you have some sort of confidence in the outcomes you saw or about Elegant Empire, or did you think it's one of those things out there who probably want to uh, take something from you and never give it in return? Actually, me, in posting, I'm a risker. I risk a lot. I risk things. I don't. Although, although the thoughts will come to me not to be true, I just went to think. So I believe, I'm, a, I'm someone that believes something in, inside it. That's one thing. So before we talk about how you've seen the elegant empire now that you've been tested, how did you feel about the outcome of the competition? Uh, the competition, it's improved me, of course. I've never been into uh, a competition with people before. Mm. I've never wanted to like, uh, this guy is a true See, look at I mean, this guy. Don't, this guy don't beat me. I would be going to push me back my return. So I don't have this competition because this actually boosted me. And I saw that I'm not the only one. And there are a lot of good people that are very good. Cool. And I believe it's not all about the talent itself. Just with extra support, families, uh, uh, let me say. Everything like that. All right, so you you coming down, you contested, and uh, you've probably seen the capacity of elegant and 
uh, are your expectations met or what are still your expectations about the elevator car? My expectations. Taking you to fam, let's go! Uh, firstly, I want to be paid. Uh, so, secondly, I want that, that dream of being Right, particularly, what do you say? You've, you've experienced the content about it, the Elegant Empire. What do you say? What can you say about the Elegant Empire in the long run? Elegant Empire is real. They are real with everything. They <laughs> so, in the next five years, you intend to be somewhere. Where do we see you in the next five years? How would I be? Thanks. And I also will be someone who also works one day. And I also want to be like one day. Great. So, do you expect anything from Elegant Empire now that you, you're a part of the Elegant Empire's management? What exactly do you expect from Elegant Empire? I expect the Elegant Empire just. We show them to do that. So that's what that's what we want to do. Alright, um, um tell us what you have for those watching you out there, your upcoming up and coming artists who are right there looking forward to, and to uh, probably um, being encouraged by your uh, stance right now. So what do you have for them? What I have for upcoming artists right there. Whatever you are doing in life, don't hear what people are saying. First of all, talk to yourself. Is this what you love? Or is this not what you love? Don't be confused. Just keep on doing what you are doing. Insist and keep on praying. God is also part of any success in life. Alright, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, to your fans out there, many of them want to contact you, many of them want to relate with you. Some of them would even want to invite you to shows and all of that. So, how do they contact you? How do they reach out to you? Are there social media handles you'd like to share with them? Uh, on my Instagram page, uh, I'm known as Sam Denzi on that school script. Why on my Facebook page, Sam Denzi script? On my TikTok, Sam Denzi script. So, Thank you very much, viewers. That was um, congratulations for being a really one of the contestants. We'd like to have another time. All right, Staji, tell us about yourself. What's your name? What's what's your stage name? Also. First of all, what about Africa? I wouldn't know that would have made us support that she can be in because I'm here with elegant and manual management. Some privileges and honor to be able to thank you. you. Thank you. So tell me, what's your stage name? What's your real name? Sorry. My name, my name is Daniel Akbar Bodhi, Alessandra Akbar Bodhi. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. How about you? Oh! <laughs> All right, so welcome, my brother. Um, so tell me, what's your genre of music? Yeah, I indulge in Afro pop, Afro dance. I'm a lover of hip hop, mainly hip hop because I tend to break that because you know in the Nigeria segment, the hip hop that that down. So it's an area that I want to tackle the Afro hip hop. Wow. So I want to take the Afro hip hop to another dimension. Beautiful. Yeah. So we have Afro hip hop artists here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right. So the, uh, the next question for you now is how long have you done Afro hip hop? Yeah. Afro hip hop. Okay. How long? Yes. How uh, well? Okay. I came into the game in 2010. That is music, not Afro hip hop. The music. Because whiskey. Because whiskey was one of the that like who is this guy whiskey but when whiskey came to um, and crossed over to make like 
point. He was when he was performing on stage, like, he was like, yeah, whiskey, whiskey. I said, what was this nigga? Like, this small boy. Like, he was like, he motivates me. In less than two seconds, the next day, I was on the road to Lagos, man. Just the dream. Wow, I was in the truth. <laughs> If you're hearing the name, start you, start you means start God. So when you start God, start God. So we went to class and found my start God. I said, no, I'm not call me start God. Call me successor of start God. Wow. So I'm a start God. There's a difference between a boy and a girl. Yeah, I So like you that. get where everything comes. Yeah. So I'm always on the money part. So when people see me on the street, like, who is this nigga? Is it boss? Is it boss? So the money made boss. But I've not arrived. But I'm always on the low. But until a very good day, I accepted that boss. I said, Yeah, money was calling me. Yeah. But I was running for money. But I said, Money was the one that made me boss. So money made boss. I was I got money made ah. boss. <laughs> yeah. We have some creative guys here. I swear to God, <laughs> this is another creative aspect. Whoa. All right. So, how did you meet Elegant Empire and what was your first impression about us? <laughs> okay, I have met yes, online through this. So, first of all, I scam never forgot to come out because I won't know I am. Me and myself are scam. Oh, 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 oh. So, oh, oh. so nobody can actually so, scam you. So, I've been in the streets, I know what's up, I know how scam you see, how you scam you see. So, when I just look at the Elegant Empire, I didn't. I mean, I don't look things as professional. I look things as experience. The difference between professional and experience. So, with my experience, I said this, this is a legit company that they are starting that. That they is what they call it business. They are about business. Yes, they are starting. So, Elegant got what they have, and the artist that I want to do got what he has. It's business, definitely. So, when you have what is in, you bring it on. Then they have what you got to take. It. Business, you come together, so you yeah. give them what you want, you give them what you want, definitely. And what's what's the So, when I was there, you know, not be faced by that, you said, Okay, I said, hey, Wow, good thing, boys. I don't know if you record each other. I said, Wow, I see Elegant in the next picture, something will work. Because when I was recording, me, Elegant Empire, I said, Wow, how does this company just go out this Elegant and Empire? Elegant is a mighty name, Empire dominating the world. I said, Wow, this will be a great achievement for me. There's a little bit of no wonder it's a little bit before you start. So I just went through the painful, I followed up as a video. Let me reach the end. I just want to see the end of the race. Wow. So another artist who didn't see us as scammers but saw us as a, a growing company who, of course, if he comes in, his talent and his skills will actually help us to get into limelight as we are pushing him. To live like we also will get into live life. I really appreciate you, uh, Stargy, for having such an impression about us. So, how do you see Elegant Empire now? And what can you tell the viewers about us in just a few sentences? How I see Elegant now. I see Elegant as a starting point. Talking the world. So what can you tell your viewers right now about us? Us. Us is being a great privilege for me to be among the first land of elegant empire management and it's an experience for me because it's an elegant house made with an open door for me. An open door for me for great achievement and it's just starting for us here. So I see elegant as greatness. I want to do greatness. Beautiful. Greatness. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, where do you see yourself in the next five years? And tell us what your expectation is from us as a management. Myself in the next five years. So my, my colleague, my colleague, will see next five years later. I'll see the next five years talking the world, conquering the world. Because if I see the next five years, 10 years, I'm not the music. Mm -hmm. I'm just arrived, I'm just, I'm just coming up. Mm -hmm. Because when the music is in you, you have to keep the fire Till Th forever. So it's a fire music world. So, what I need from the elegant empire is the discipline, the discipline and the motivation. Because I know I won't remain elegant forever. Because one day I'm going to stand 
out here on my own. Definitely. As a boss. Definitely. So I'll need a strong backup. Not just an investment because if you have a strong, a strong backup, there is no how you won't be able to talk of the sky. Beautiful. Beautiful. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> All right. So what is your word of encouragement to all upcoming artists out there and um yeah your word of encouragement and then tell us how we can contact you tell us your word of encouragement i'm joining the two questions at the same time your word of encouragement to all upcoming artists tell us uh tell us your last word for your fans and tell us how we can contact you my word of encouragement for my fans is never bow down always look up and the source of shining, the rain shall fall on the ground and your ground shall be wet. That is it. All right. That's what I will do. Alright, so what's your word for your fans watching you? Yeah. What about the Kaurong Night? I would have liked to have a first to my ears and my mouth to have a word of encouragement. Never give up in life. Just be focused on consistency. That consistency is very, very important. Consistent because of determination, going for God and vision. If you don't visualize, it's just like when you plant a tree and you don't water and you don't grow. Because that tree, that mango tree, will take like five years, ten years for it to bear the fruit. Mm -hmm. And that fruit will come for harvest. Mm -hmm. So where you have an harvest and you shall be and you will be able to enjoy it. The fruit will be a level one. So, How we can contact you? Okay, on my on my Facebook page is African Star God. African Star God. On my Instagram is Star G M M B. Star G M M B. TikTok Star G M M B. Twitter Star G M M B. I will appreciate you guys for coming up. Awesome. Nice to have you today. I'm super super excited to see you. Thank you so much for coming around. Coin. Yeah. Well, we, 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 we all know that the, yeah. right in this part of the world, in this climb, the, the coin is not really making wave anymore. So why do you still choose to remind us of the coin? Oh, yeah. Alright. I got you. Alright, Mr. Coin, what's your real name? My real name is Mutin I'm from Fugu the real name is Moody. Yes, say like Moody. Yeah. Is it Moody or Moody? Moody. M U D I. I would like to tell you where you're from. Uh, I'm from Fugu State. Oh, I see. So it's a. It's actually like. It's, 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 it's a. Fugu is not Moss, right? No, no, it's a Western. Middle West. Middle Oh, I see. Oh, right. right. So, welcome to um, your interview session. I would like to know your. Stage name is the stage name is just the coins. What informed you the decision to take up the name? That name. I got I, I got that name from a good friend of mine because there was one time like that that like, we took people at times and we keep calling our seven names. Firstly, I dare recoins. But I think I forget that recoins, recoins. I want to be sounding. At least when coins, when you wrote coins, when sound, when the words. You want to bounce, you'll be sounding. So you want so to sound everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what kind of music do you do? All kind. In fact, all kind. You do Afro, you do K-pop, any kind of music you want to do. I can, I can push it. Mm, I can rap. I can fuck with it. Yeah, you can rap. I can sing. That's great. Please, you can rap. Yeah. 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 Go a bit deep. How um, how long have you been doing it? Ah, music, music. <laughs> <laughs> I've been calling. Has it shown you pepper or something? Music. <laughs> <laughs> music. I've been into music at least maybe 20, 20, 20. Six. Twenty twenty six. Yeah. When I was two thousand and six. Two thousand and six. Two thousand six. Two thousand six. Yeah. I'm thinking you are in the future. You're seeing the future already. <laughs> He's seeing the future already. 
so <laughs> that is when I was in music because there is one time like that I would play maybe with my friend, we always play and after ultimate yeah. I will use music to resort there. So that is that I come to realize that we have a I play like music. Yeah. Meanwhile, people in the middle of the not really very promising. I'm saying people with me, the middle belt are not really promising in the area of music. So how did you come about it? How do you change, intend to change the narrative? Yeah, uh, or well, just that they are not bringing themselves out. Then I want to do that. I would really want to bring that out. Hmm. That's right. So that was why you contested in the elegant Afro music talent. How did you meet? How did you get to hear about it? I met the elegant empire through one of my sisters, sisters of the family. He was working in the hospital. Yeah, he was working in Prescott. And there is one day I visited them and told me that this is your music. I have music on Ujuma, like songs that I've done before. After that time, I like about it for money to forward more. So when I visited them one time, told me that I should try this, this uh, elegant device that they have good oil everything about them. And after maybe recording there or doing a video, like, seeing what I've done so far, then they like sponsor me like that. And they said, okay. Immediately I asked for the number. So after asking for the number, I called and I told them that I want to be into recording. I was even like sending money one time that I want to come on Sunday to come and record because he told me that maybe this once I will record, I will come and record that Sunday. Then I said, okay, no problem because I want time, more time, so that by me sending that money, there is no problem that I will call. I was not able to do that anymore. So what, when, <laughs> when, when you when you converse, when you were on the conversation on the phone, what was your impression and when you dropped the call? What was the impression? Do you think it was sharp? Ah, I was very happy being with them that I have seen one an opportunity for me that is coming out with that I can grab. All right, so um, this is the second person that the family seems to be supporting yeah. his musical career. Yeah. Remember, the first person was A.K. Crown. Yeah. A.K. Crown told us the father was actually the one who pushed him through um, in the voting process by sending him lots of money. So this is the second person who seems to be supported by the family in his musical career. How does it feel when you understand that people in your family, like your sister's husband, these people are looking up to you. They're hoping that one day you blow, you become something big like Honorable, something big like Whiskey. How does it feel? They will feel happy, even more than Honorable, because I have to talk to you. So poor. Alright, so um so now you 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 when you drop a call, you came, you did something with elegance, you even took part in the Afro music talent. Now tell us what's your experience with elegance so far and what are your expectations from us? Tell the viewers, what have you seen in elegance? How do you see elegance? Tell them, let them know. Yeah. I'm like I like it louder. I like, I like, my meeting them, I like it. I'm, I'm happy with meeting them. I like them of meeting them. Of them. I don't even think maybe I'll meet this year. Because I was even thinking maybe this is calm. <laughs> I was not like, even many people have discouraged me. Even my daughter. This one, that I, even they want to make payment, they will say, ah, this name that is on this payment, that is not using even your account, say, ah, this is that, uh, I was like, ah, don't worry, bro. And I was happy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was happy. About, uh, Let's go. All right, so, uh, 
great. So you can boldly tell the viewers out there that elegance empire is real. Yeah, it is real. It is most calm. Thank you. I've seen it. Thank you very much for your kind words. Tell us, um, in the, we know that uh, you've, you've taken part in the competition and you, you, you find you, you came out not as the winner. Do you feel so bad about it? Or does it encourage you to step in stone? I'm not feeling bad. I'm feeling bad. I'm not feeling bad. Why I'm not feeling bad, why I'm feeling bad is because I'm not the winner. And on one side, I'm not feeling bad. Because I'm seeing the race and I'm, I'm, I'm still among the top 10. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. So in the next term, in the next term, five years, we expect to, you expect yourself somewhere. Uh, as well as we also expect to see you somewhere. So where do you think we should see you in the next five years? Next, next, next year, mm. by mm. God's grace, mm. I'm going there with elegant empire. Whoa! <laughs> they will say, who will say, who produces it? Mm. Who do this? I will tell them, elegant empire. Wow! <laughs> That's very, very encouraging and inspiring. I can see you have so much confidence in the elegant empire. We thank you for that. And like to know what do you have for open coming artists out there who would also want to make it big? The coming artists, they should keep trying, they should not relent. When you when you relent, you will not get where you are going. So so I never relent. And I never relent. Mm. So so Alright. Finally, finally, I uh, would like to know um, your fans out there would want to reach out to you. Maybe most of them will want to invite you for one or two things and how do they get to you? Do you have Instagram or Facebook or um, Twitter handle they can follow? The only thing I have is now, right now, that is get up to me and I just tweet that. Okay, so that is Instagram. It's the coin and Twitter. So they will have to follow you on Instagram. So what's your TikTok? TikTok Instagram. So, what do you, what advice do you have for your fans out there? Probably those who dream of becoming musical artists like you. I How did it start? I, I will like tell them that, or like tell them that they should like encourage themselves to meet up their target and come also like where we are today we started from somewhere which we, most of us done that we started that we left behind where we are here today so they should keep trying so that they can reach where we are all right thank you very much that was mr collins nice having you here mr collins All right, awesome. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, with no waste of time, let us have you, Mr. Jetsin Gray. What's your name? All right, Justin Odoko Obina. All right, welcome. So, Jetsin Gray. Jetsin Gray. Oh, just like general. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, I've been pronouncing you as Jetimbra. But it's fine, Jetimba. Alright. Good to meet you. Jetimba, what's your genre genre of music? Afro pop. Afro pop. Alright. Okay. That's awesome. And um, how long have you been doing music? Professional. Hmm. Okay, so from 2013 
till death you've been doing music. Awesome, that's fine. And um, how did you meet us and what was your first impression about us? I don't know him, but that guy must have uh, been following us for a while before he can uh, have that trust in us. However the case may be, I'm so happy. So your first impression was us with us was that you were not afraid that we are scammers. You just wanted to give it a try and see what will come out of it, right? Okay, that's fine. So um, how do you see Elegant Empire now? This is the starting point of your journey with the Elegant Empire. Tell us, how do you see us and what... Uh, what can you tell the viewers about us? Yeah, I'm seeing um, as, uh, as an organizer, organization that has a um, official to, uh, to, to, to take, take artists to the world and to the music world. And I believe I believe in um, elegant fire. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Jetin. Can we give a clap on that? <laughs> All right, so where do you see yourself in the next five years from now? And what are your expectations from us? encouragement to all and coming artists watching us right now So tell us, uh, say something to your fans, people that are watching, people that love you, all your supporters, and tell us how we can contact you, Jetimba. Uh, I've I never ceased um, to give you that good sound. Taking you to fame, let's um, go! Okay. You always want from me. And uh, I say, it is, my, it is my duty, and my profession to give you what you are expecting from me. So if you if you want to get me, want to get you to me, you get me to Instagram with J Timba. Twitter, J Timba. I am J Timba Twitter. On Facebook, J Timba. Alright. J Timba, it's a nice time with you today in the studio. Sorry, it's a nice time with you today hanging out with the Elegant Empire. All right, so see you next time. I'm super excited to have you. You're welcome. All right, the Timba, so that's it. As you're working with us now, it's going to be our responsibility to help you to succeed. So thank you very much for believing in Elegant Empire. Thank you for not allowing people to discourage you. And thank you for this first step towards greatness with the Empire. See you at the top. I remain yours truly, the CEO and the project director of this company, Elegant Empire International. God bless you. And, and here with me is a very, very committed staff of the Elegant Empire. Say something and introduce yourself. Lastly. All right, thank you very much. My name is Dan Okay, and um, I'd like to appreciate all of you for sitting time with me and 
quarter, I, I quite see a great a lot of confidence in the up, up and coming out is to the quarter we are pro music talent. And I want to encourage you, I want to let you know the opportunity is greater than talent. Mm -hmm. Opportunity is greater than talent. You know, I used to think that um, having talent was all of it until I realized that you may have the talent. But no, if you don't have that opportunity, you can go on. Many of the musical talents, many of the music artists that you've seen around in Nigeria today, if I can testify that most of them are better than them, mm -hmm. most of the big names are better than them, mm -hmm. the musical hits than them, but because you don't have that opportunity, that's why you are not there yet. The Elegant Empire is here to give you that platform, that opportunity. So please, do not be discouraged by what it is you're saying out there. If I can, we can also introduce ideas. We have ideas that we think can help this company grow and can help this company shoot to that price. We can also introduce some ideas, but it has a cost of But we are working very hard to make sure that we get you to the top. Thank you once again. It's been a wonderful time with you. I uh, hope to meet you next time and surely see you at the top.